is your Jamaican girl Ashari. Welcome back to my channel. If you've not yet hit that subscribe button, I'm asking you kindly go ahead, smash it, like, share, comment, do what you gotta do. Just know that we have good stuff right here, okay? So today I want to talk to you guys real quick about long distance relationship, how to maintain the love, how to maintain all the stuff in that relationship. So there are a few questions that came in, some through comment some through my email some through my instagram about topics that you guys want to hear me talk about and one of them was how to adjust in um a foreign country one and two was um yeah long distance relationship and if you don't know, know say your home girl um was in a long very long distance relationship uh for our flight away from jamaica um but we did so as you guys know um ellen and i are from neighboring communities but we never start talk them time day. You know, there was nothing there was nothing there at that time. And um yeah, we started dating. He was in the US, I was back home in Jamaica, and Ella never even knew any WhatsApp. <laughs> I knew what was WhatsApp because I had WhatsApp, but he didn't know what was WhatsApp. All he knew is just a regular um I um iPhone messaging and and he had a Facebook account because that's how we we reconnected. It was through Facebook, but the internet never did go on so bad. I'm here, so good. I'm here. So sometime in the evening, you want to see me when we reach home, you chop another corner because there's a good spot in the room. And I forgot to get look at you know, look at internet for go and kick up. And we did a lot of like texting. So it was after we started dating that he downloaded WhatsApp and we started communicating more on that. But like the calling you know to see each other see each physically, other physically it just never did our work um it, you know the internet i remember at one point we he sent money from for me to buy one of those portable modem box and it still never did go on with nothing because it was so hard to figure out the internet then time that we don't know if I remember the internet it was so hard to figure out the internet so when we go work we used to bleed it at work like every minute more i'm break we're gonna buy a chum car <laughs> bleed it at work because you know look a free internet there work and stuff but then we paid for the, the portal box you never did go on so good um we tried skype we tried all of them we don't even remember some of name of the different something we tried for the video call so we can't see each other nothing in our go on um for it. but then he decided to buy an iphone because when he came to jamaica he took me an iphone and then we were able to start communicating um through you know like the facetime but the internet still never that one so good so enough time you can't see face me only can make out the shape and face but can not see so that was a struggle for us um but then things got better things started getting better internet service get better when i applied for my internet we get my internet and we spent our relationship was like oh so weird from day one we spent a lot of time on the phone so i am sleeping and my phone that you're so on the pillar, catch up on one pillar, and you watch me sleep. Yes, uh, we were so in love and full full. <laughs> so we a lot of our uh, time at one point my phone battery, my phone battery just just done, it just done because I spent a lot of time video calling and talking with my husband on the phone. He was my go-to source. Everything I was just always excited to be telling him stuff. And uh, only when no me no me love chat. So me, him have to listen ears near my mouth. We just a chat 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 chat. We chat about everything. My husband would be at work driving, and he have to catch me up. Pan the seat over there so we can see my job and we are chatting and not just watching we are chat we i just always wanted to be in his presence I just always wanted to be talking to him and so every time i saw my phone ring i had this beautiful had this smile. beautiful smile on my face because the man of my dream was calling right so yes yeah, so we spent a lot of times i remember he bought me an ipad as well so i'd use the ipad to supplement the phone but you got the phone but you did so fast i live fine charger um and that was just us we talked about everything sometimes even though i feel like when we were further apart we had like a closer relationship because we took nothing for granted we wanted to hear about each other's day we want to hear about what what we ate we wanted to talk about the weird stuff them the stuff that we like stuff that we didn't like we just we were always talking and i feel like you know when couples get to be in a place where, where they're together in the same space they don't value that anymore because it's like we take each other for granted and so with my husband i try to find time in the night when we lay down to just talk about these random stuff that called crazy my day was stuff that annoyed me stuff that i really like and just that whole excitement because communication is key for any relationship long arc light so we managed to get through those years when we were separated 
primarily through constant communication i see couples nowadays the only time they talk to their spouse is when something happened the, the spouse at work and they, they don't you know spouse don't hear from them when they at work and when they come home you know there's still no communication you're not growing together because you're not communicating you're not talking about all of these nice stuff and for me i am grateful that i had a long distant relationship that taught me the value of communication so whether or not i want to you know i, I would would have wanted less communication now i know the value of it and i know how it allows me to feel and make me feel there's so much that i know about him and so much that he knows about me because we value talking yes we value talking so if you don't like talk then your relationship will take a big hit because what is there to excite you guys right so we spent a lot of time on the phone we would watch each other i remember my husband was working in harlem mm -hmm. i remember one day my husband was working in harlem and they tried to steal his phone. I was on the phone when the person come to teeth the phone. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to start being nice. I call it and load, load, load. The person cut off the phone and dropped the phone. So eventually my husband called me back. But I was there to protect the phone virtually. <laughs> but yes, you know what I mean? Um, but that was us. That's how we, 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 we um, made it through our relationship of being apart every opportunity that we got to talk to each other we we ensured that we did communicate there was no secrets we just we we would just talk about everything even if we know that it may upset each other but at least we talked about it my husband and i have been married six years we've never gone to a bit upset at each other like like um me not chat to you and ed and two no we're not practice them something day because i knew there was a time when i really wanted to hug him and i couldn't hug him a time when i wanted to kiss him and i couldn't kiss him because he was so far away so i value him so lastly because me never meant for it takes so long if you are in a long distance relationship, value the communication, value the commerce, value the love, value your man, value your woman, value each other. It's very important. If you're not in a long distance relationship, ensure you shut off him ears, ensure you shut off our ears because communication is key. It binds you guys together, it bonds you. It doesn't matter what come because you know the person, you know everything about the person. Not no fears, you not no shake, you not no just oh, give up and walk away. Listen. Yeah, have to come really good and that situation has to come really good to allow me to walk away from somebody that who is a part of me who is in my heart you know so i value those few years that we had apart because no all i want is for us to be together oh you know we value coming home to see each other when missing my husband we used to be excited we just get excited all over like whatever and sometimes you know what wrong with her but it's the fact that there were so many years that i wanted to do this thing i wanted to hug you i want to say you know in person and it couldn't happen huh <laughs> so until next time, this is your Jamaican girl Shari. Walk good, stay good, keep on looking good, and remember that your relationship is one of the most important thing to you. If you love a person, that is, because some are we in a relationship where we don't love, but if you love a person, the most important thing to you. So value it and treat each other as how you would want to be treated. Until next time, walk good, stay good, look good. Remember, COVID is still out, so of course. Social distance, wash your hands, and keep sanitized. Bye-bye.